Hello friends, today's video will present the wrestling story of the best yakut wrestler of the 21st century, the idol of many yakuts, two-time world champion and six-time champion of Russia Viktor Labadev. Victor Labadev was brought to the sport by his father, having given him to the section of wrestling Hapsagai, the Yekat National Wrestling, about which, by the way, I have an issue on my channel. What is this severe kind of wrestling? You can learn by clicking on the link below the video. Victor Labadev's parents are reindeer herders. Victor's father is a native of Chirapchiulis of Yakusha, which is traditionally famous for its strong school of freestyle wrestling, whose pupils are Olympic champions Roman Dmitriev and Pavel Pinigin. Victor Labadev followed in the footsteps of his distinguished fellow countrymen and soon began to show himself quite successfully at the youth and junior level. In particular, in 2006 Victor Labadev became the winner of the national championship and world champion among youth. It was then that all the fans realized that the young pupil of the Yekut Wrestling School would bring more than one medal to his native republic. The first significant success at the adult level came to Labadev in 2009. This year began with Viktor Labadev's successful performance at the international tournament Ivan Yerijin in Krasnoyarsk. The young wrestler showed himself very brightly at one of the most prestigious tournaments in Russia and the world. Viktor competed in the category up to 55 kilograms and reached the final, beating one of the favorites of the tournament Dagestan Jamal Otar Sultanov. In the fight for the gold medal to winners of world championships among juniors Viktor Labadev 2006 and Nariman Israpilov 2008 came together. Having lost in a hard fight, Viktor became the silver medalist of the competition. However, in early June Viktor Labadev took a convincing revenge on his rival at the national championship in Kazan. In the semi-finals of the competition Viktor Labadev met with the reigning European champion Nariman Israpilov and won the bout. This victory became one of the brightest events of the first day of the championship. In the final he faced another Yekut wrestler, the champion of Russia 2007 Osip Mikhailov. Labadev became the victor, having won the bout in three periods. The gold medal of the national championship becomes a ticket to the world championship, which took place in September in the Danish city of Herne. Victor successfully started the competition, confidently winning the first three meetings. In the semifinals, Victor lost to the athlete from Turkey Caesar Ekel with the score 1-2. The bronze medal of the world championship was won in a fight with Azerbaijani Nemek Sevdimov. Victor did not let doubts in his victory, winning in two periods. This medal from the World Championships was the first for Yakusha after the triumph of the Kondoev brothers in Sofia 2001. In 2009, the Yekut athlete also won at the International Freestyle Wrestling Tournament Wekla Tsiolkowski Memorial held in Warsaw, the capital of Poland. In the final fight Labadev was stronger than Iranian Abastobagi. The year 2010 was no less fruitful for Labadev. Victor begins the year with a bronze at the international tournament Ivan Yerijin, then becomes the owner of the World Cup and confirms leadership in the Russian national team, winning the second consecutive national championship, becoming a bronze medalist at the European Championships and the best wrestler in the world in his weight. This year's World Championship was held in Moscow in the Olympiski Sports Complex. Here Viktor Labadev tried on the title of world champion for the first time. Showing character and skill, Viktor beat Nosibula Kurbanov from Uzbekistan, Bulgarian Radoslav Valikov, Korean Kim Huosub and Cuban Frank Chimiza. In the finals Labadev faced Hogril Eskarov from Azerbaijan. In a difficult fight, Victor won two out of three periods. In 2011, Victor Labadev became a two-time World Cup winner. The tournament was held in Makhachkala, the capital of Dagestan. In the final, the Russian team met with the Iranian team and won five bouts out of seven. Victor was the first to bring winning points to the team, defeating Hassan Rahimi in two periods and not giving his opponent a single point. Victor 
Поднимает на второй этаж. Молодец. Малай, вот это характер. Вот это характер. Сейчас уже нет шансов. In early July, Yakutsk became the freestyle wrestling capital of the country. Viktor Lavadev won his third gold medal on his home mat to the deafening applause of the fans. In a dramatic and colorful final in the category up to 55 kg, Viktor Lavadev, the reigning champion of Russia and the world, and Jamal Oder Sultanov, two-time European champion, Matt. The first period was left for Viktor, he managed to get to his feet a few seconds before the end and finish the segment in his favor. In the second period the lot decided who to take the tackle. It fell to Oder Sultanov. However, Lavadev resisted and eventually became the champion. In September of this year, Lebedev took part in the World Championship, which was held in Istanbul, Turkey. Victor was again able to defend this title, winning in the quarterfinals against Cuban Frank Chimizo. In the semifinals against Kazakh Dalit Niyuzvakov. And in the decisive bout, defeated the medalist of the Olympic Games in Beijing, Bulgarian Radoslav Velikov. The 2012 Pre Olympic National Championship in Freestyle Wrestling was hosted by St. Petersburg. These competitions were qualifiers for the Olympic Games 2012 in London. In the category up to 55 kilograms, Viktor Lebedev reached the final. But in the bout, which decided who would go to defend the honor of the country in London, Viktor lost to Jamal Oder Sultanov. <laughs> The bout was very tense. The first period ended with zeros on the scoreboard. In the clinch, Oder Sultanov was lucky. Da. In the second period, Victor's rival was ahead again with a minimal gap. There was not much time left. And so the champion of the country for the last three years, the unquestionable leader of the weight category up to 55 kilograms remained without the Olympic Games. For Victor, it was a cruel test of his strength. Whether Victor could continue his sports career and pursuit of his dream, an Olympic medal, all the fans asked at that time. Victor, however, was able to survive this disappointment and proved that he is tough. In March 2014, Victor Labedev, as part of the national team, won a silver medal at the World Cup, which was held in Los Angeles. The team cup was played by the top 10 national teams based on the results of the last world championships. The teams were divided into two groups of five teams, the winners of each group met in the final. The Russian team confidently won the first place in Group B, having defeated the teams of Mongolia, Ukraine, Japan and Georgia, but in the final loss to the team of Iran with a score of 2-6. Viktor Labedev did not lose a single bout and in the final defeated the reigning world champion Iranian Hassan Rahimi for three. Viktor took the decisive point just five seconds before the final whistle. Labedev take down two with six seconds on the clock. He's going to win it. Wow, what a comeback for Viktor Labedev of Russia. Insane match. In the summer, Viktor Labedev again, for the fourth time, became the country's champion. The two-time world champion confidently reached the final, winning against Briashas Bazar, Chalsipov and wrestlers from Yakushari and Tutrin, Edward Grigoriev and Nikolai Oklapkov. And in the fight for the right to climb to the top step of the podium, Viktor won 6-2 against Omek Surian from the Novosibirsk region. <laughs> The 2014 World Championships were unsuccessful for Viktor Lebedev. In the quarterfinals, he lost to the reigning world champion from Iran, Hassan Rahimi. <laughs> 2015 Viktor started 2015 very brightly, winning the Ivan Yerijin International Tournament in Krasnoyarsk. 
In the final, he left no chance to the winner of the Intercontinental Cup 2014, Ismail Musuke from Dagestan, beating him 7-1. Already in May, Victor won another gold medal at the national championship in Dagestan. Kaspis coasted the competition for the first time. In the final, Balabadev again meets Ismail Musukayev and beats his opponent to one. In the summer, Victor Labadev became the strongest freestyle wrestler in the weight category up to 57 kilograms at the first ever European Games in the capital of Azerbaijan, Baku. In the bout for the gold medal, Victor won 8-0 against Marcel Yold from Germany. In September, Victor Labadev brought the 17th medal of the World Freestyle Wrestling Championships in the history of Yakutia and won an Olympic license for Russia for the second time in his career. The competition of the world's strongest wrestlers was hosted by Las Vegas. After his defeat by Aaron Sasan Rahimi, Viktor Lebedev was able to properly adjust for the bronze final against the winner of the 2014 Asian Games, Yong Hak Jin from North Korea, and confidently brought the bout to a 3-0 victory. At the beginning of the 2016 Olympic year, Viktor Lebedev won a bronze medal at the prestigious Ivan Yerijin tournament in Krasnoyarsk. In the duel for the award, Victor was stronger than the winner of the 2015 Russian Youth Championship Kazakh Shim. On May 27, Yakutsk became the scene of the best wrestlers of the country, hosting the pre-Olympic championship of Russia. In the weight category up to 57 kilograms, Viktor Labadev and wrestler from Bryasha Alexander Bogomoev became finalists. During the hard-fought bout, Bogomoev received three warnings for passivity. At the last warning, he was given 30 seconds to earn a point but the athlete failed to do so. Thus, the meeting ended with a score 1-1 in favor of Labadev. Two wrestlers from Yakutia took part in the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, Viktor Labadev for the Russian national team and Ayal Lazarev for Kyrgyzstan. Having gone through fire, water and copper pipes, Viktor still came to the Olympic carpet. In the first bout, Viktor met with the reigning Asian champion Sandeep Tomar from India. Labadev started the tournament confidently, beating his opponent 7-3. In the next round, he faced 2013 world champion Hassan Rahimi from Iran. The score of personal meetings between the wrestlers before the bout was 2-2. However, this time luck was on the side of his opponent. Lebedev, having not trained in recent months, having spent an irretrievable amount of nervous energy on the courts with anti-doping authorities and, finally, having won, could not count on optimal conditions by definition. Unfortunately, Ayal Lazarev could not compete for medals, having lost to the representative of the Polish national team Robert Baran. The Olympic carpet of Rio became the last competition for Viktor Labadev. In May 2017, Yakusha's best wrestler of the 21st century officially announced the end of his sports career.